Hello, St. Louis. We're out here at Creepy World, and I'm with my buddy Nick. Yep. Say hello, Nick. What's up? That's all you got to say is what's up. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show. Okay. So, Nick, what are we looking at here? We're out here at Creepy World, and we're getting it ready for the Halloween season 2024. Who yep. knows if we would ever even see 2024? But we're trying to, we're doing the biggest renovations we've ever had to Creepy World. We're really excited about this season. And what we have here, and I'm just gonna give you a little tour of this thing. I bought this thing back in, I don't even know, like 18, 20 years ago. And you could barely make out where it says scarefest.com. It was hand painted on there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get artwork for this and we're going to uh, redo it. But it used to be at a place called Spooky World, and you can actually see the O, the R, the L and the D, where it says World. And you can also see in here where it says Darkness. All of that's faded off. And Creepy World used to be called Scream World, and you can see it right here, it says Scream World. And this is an animated band, uh, and it's been sitting here on blocks. I don't know, Nick, did we determine how long it's been sitting here? It's been, I don't, I don't know, five years it's been sitting not working. Just well, we just stopped using it. And we renovated this thing about 10 years ago by repainting it and everything. And so it has this um, really cool CGI effect over here where this guy slowly gets bit by a spider and he or I think he might be the Invisible Man or he might rot. I'm not sure. There's a whole bunch of different ones. But what you're going to see here is, you see, this is the piano player. And his name was Mr. Howell. Okay. And then you got these three heads. They're back, background singers. And then you got this guy. He's chained to the wall. And he's kind of a background singer. You have the drummer. And then this was a, uh, like a CGI type effect that's literally... Uh, uh, projected onto that bust and then he uh, talks and tells jokes as well and then here's the guitar player and so this thing has been sitting like for a long long time and by the way this isn't what they look like we have silicone mass that goes over the heads and whatnot and Nick has over been over here working on it so let's see one working yep, so this is the guitar player the guitar player new cylinders new solenoids all of those things. yeah and eventually all of them will be redone like this to where they're all moving and there he is he's he's up he's running he's moving he's doing his thing and so right he will be like singing and uh playing guitar to music and telling jokes and that all has to be programmed and a big master program correct yep. yeah this thing has 40 outputs yeah it's crazy how long do you think it's going to take us to get this thing up and running again I think by next Friday, I'll at least have all the ghouls working, and then maybe a couple days just to run the programs, because this right here, this is a FlexMax controller, this only does about 18 outputs, so I'm still debating whether I'm going to like daisy chain a couple of these together, or get one of the I.O. expanders and just put it all in one. All right, so but it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long time to program because the program, the song that you have, the mix, is 49 minutes long. So that Holy means, cow! That means for every output, I can only record eight outputs at a time unless I do it all on a computer. But I like to do it by hand and watch it. So every eight outputs, I'm gonna have to spend an hour every time and go through the whole thing. And so, by the way, this is our five-minute escape room. We've had the same one for about three years. What you see is the coffins are coming off the wall. So we're going to walk this way and we're going to talk about that. Um, you coming with me, Nikki? Nikki? Nikki boy? All right. So St. Louis, listen. Uh, we've explained this on some of our other videos. We're going to explain it here. Um, there is a trade show in St. Louis called Transworld. And it's a haunted house and Christmas trade show. And it happens every March. We do tours of the darkness and sometimes the Lemporary for that show. So we're always renovating those attractions. Like right when we close, we're trying to renovate them and get them done before March. So Creepy World traditionally gets renovated, let's say, if we're gonna add new haunts or improve attractions or just fix it, 
you got to remember, Creepy World is an indoor and outdoor haunt. So it gets damaged by rain. It gets damaged by the sun. It gets damaged by snow, ice, and everything else. So we have to come out here every year. We have to fix it up. And uh, we have to set it up. Now, when we renovate, we're not taking anything down. We're not building new uh, mazes or anything like that. What we do is we'll change a maze. We don't change the structure. We don't change the flow of it or anything. We just strip everything out and uh, re-theme it. And so right now, we're re-theming, which one was it? Krampus. Krampus. And I saw online that some people were upset that we were getting rid of the Krampus. Well, Krampus was originally quite high too, so it was already, half of it was gone. Now the other remaining first half is gone too. Yeah, because we took half of Krampus actually, and we turned it into the schoolhouse last year. So, right here is where the Krampus is, and for those people who come to Creepy World every year, here it is. And you can see a lot of coffins. Now this facade will be gone, and a really cool one is gonna take its place. Probably the coolest one we've ever had, and I mean ever. But before we go in and get a little update on what it takes to build a haunted house out here at Creepy World, let's look at some of the animations that are gonna go into the new haunted house. What's this one, Nick? I think it's called a Banshee from Distortion. She raises up, opens her mouth, and she sprays water. Yeah, and she's really cool. And then what's this one? This is, I don't know the exact name, but it's a wolf. It's kind of like the, uh, I don't remember what it's called. You got one in Silo X, alien that bangs around. This yeah. one comes flying out. On the yeah, but it's a werewolf. All right. You don't want to show them this weed? No, that's not going in there. We'll you want to tell them how we have to cut these down? Yeah, we have to in? cut them down just to get them in. And then you'll also see a station on here of cloth. And we're cutting this cloth uh, for shredding for throughout the maze. Uh, and then we'll have to fire retard that. But you see we're building crates and coffins that's going to go into this haunted house. Now, since the last time we were here and we checked into it, we've done a lot of work. Okay, you can see we've started to base out these panels here. We've got all the walls based they're not actually painted yet they're just painted with the uh, base coat now you're gonna see this really cool wolf animation and we determined that it was too big to go in this room and you can see here's another werewolf it's a really big werewolf animation look how big this thing is show them what yeah we'll show them and we have to we're gonna be moving it tomorrow to another space and it jumps up it has solid steel on the bottom and it bangs and it makes a lot of noise so this whole haunted house is going to be um, werewolves and vampires okay so we're starting to get everything based now you're, you don't know what this is right here but this is actually rust paint eventually it's going to all rust up it hasn't had activator hit on it um, right now we're just kind of sort of basing it on now here's another scene uh, of course, remember, this is not finished. This is not done. We're basing it out. We're starting to get the props in place. Okay. And there's going to be other stuff in here as well. And this is a really cool, scary animation. You can see that it closes and it opens. One of the things that we like to do here at our place is we want to put the animations as close as we possibly can to the customers. So we try to build natural obstacles. Like, go over there and bump into that there, Nick. We try to build natural obstacles, so you can't get hit by the animation. You wouldn't be able to get hit in the face. I mean, even if you put your hands right here, the door can't even... And so I can tell you when, you know, it's really funny when somebody talks about a new haunted house opening. Okay, that's always hilarious. Because they're, we're, we've, we're, we've got like, you know, eight million, ten million dollars in the creepy world. It, it, and it's taken 20 years to get to the point where it's at. You don't, a new haunt does not get there, okay? And they also don't understand a lot of the safety stuff. But here is another animation. Here, show them that, Nick. We're going to have to move that coffin over there. And check this baby out. This is called Drac Attack. And, and it comes out. 
It's a really cool animation. It's a vampire. Now this haunted house is going to be very bloody as well, let me tell you. Um, but there actually is an, an animatronic that's going here as well. That's just sitting there. This is like what we call an actor scare box where the actors can jump out at you. We're trying to mock up like how you would walk through here. And so we we got a plan today. Yep. And uh, we're going to start trying to put it in action tomorrow. You can see right here where there's vacuum form. But see how the actor... Yeah. Now, this room in here, this is uh, an, an animation that's on our Instagram page. It's also an animation on our TikTok page. On our Instagram page, this animation already has like, you know, three, four hundred thousand views. On TikTok, it's already over a million, maybe two million. So this vampire lifts all the way up in the air and he comes down and he bites the neck. And then bloody water goes down to this tube and you see there's a... Uh, uh, a sump pump in there and it's, it's, it's actually really yeah we had to take this whole thing apart and rebuild it in here yeah bring it like the bat had to come off the table was split into three different pieces so it's on tiktok you know people are clout chasing with your videos what do you mean so on facebook they got all these groups that are like home depot halloween props for this year and people will be like new home depot prop and it'll be something from scare factory from your video, your video YouTube. have you seen those no that's funny <laughs> um so this hallway is going to have hanging vampire bats okay and then when you come into this last room um this is where those wolves on the other on the other side that's where they're going to be going right up in here and this animation which is really cool it's like a vampire that's been staked and she goes crazy uh the big werewolf goes in the first room and we have tons and tons of props for this do we not and we're going to be adding tons of shredding now check this out this is the theming between this maze and the next maze and you have to walk through this whole like series of coffins and of course it's not painted um but you have to wind through here and there's going to obviously be actors trying to get you Vampires, I should say. <laughs> Werewolves, vampires. And uh, and you come through here, a maze of caskets. And of course, they're not painted. And then you come over here, and then we have another animation that has to be painted as well. And this li lifts up, and there's like these vampires. Am I I'll right? lift it up and show you, but... Yeah, it's too heavy. They're like zombies. So like it lifts up, and it's like a bunch of skeleton corpses is lifted up and there's like six of them in there i think and they like go crazy yep but it's really heavy we can't lift yeah. it up so we also have a ton of new um animations that um are getting shipped to us from another company and those are going to get sprinkled in here as well we're going to add some air cannons some actors some sound some lighting now it, it it's um I would say by the end of next week, it's gonna look really far along. Um, but one of the coolest parts of this maze is gonna be this facade. And this facade is going away and the coolest facade we've ever had is gonna take its place. And it's gonna have flame machines. It's gonna have a really cool um, giant animated uh, Kind of like a Diablo kind of, you know, Scare like... Scare Factory Slayer. Yeah, they call it the Slayer. And it's like one of the most sought-after animations in the haunted house industry. And it's going to sit right out here. It's going to be the coolest haunt that we have here when it's done. It's going to have the coolest facade. It's going to be one of those moments where everybody breaks their camera out and starts taking pictures. That's what's going to happen. So anyway, we wanted to... Just make this uh, this video. We want to tell everybody to follow us on Instagram at Scarefest. At Scarefest. Now we do have an Instagram page for Creepy World. We don't really post on it, and we have one for the darkness, and we don't really post on it. You know, we've just focused on the Scarefest. Um, you can follow those, but please follow us at Scarefest on Instagram. And please, we're begging you to give us a like, subscribe to our page on YouTube because we're going to be making videos all summer long on us getting Creepy World ready for the 2024 Halloween season because one of the things I want to address is 
What's really funny, and, and I'm just gonna throw this out there because it's true. Somebody just left a review uh, of our new escape room at St. Louis Escape called Haunted Mansion. And we encourage all of you to go downtown right next door to the darkness and play our escape rooms because they are crazy, they're insane, they're, they're interactive, they're, they're like unbelievable, right? And we spent seven months changing our haunted hotel to the haunted mansion. And somebody left a review, a one star review, thank you very much, and said that it hardly was changed and only maybe one or two puzzles were changed. That's what they said. Um, that is completely false. There's nothing close to that being true. Uh, why did it take six or seven months to, to get it to work again? And we missed Halloween. We didn't even get it done in time for Halloween, which was really terrible because that's our number one uh, escape room in October was the Haunted Hotel. And the, our goal was to have it done in time for Halloween and we didn't get it done. And we barely got it open by March. That's when it finally opened was March. So we started working on it. Uh, I'm trying to remember actually, but it was like, I think it was August is when we closed it. And we worked on it all the way till March of 2024. So it literally crossed over into another calendar year. And um, here's the point I'm trying to make is that it's really funny when people leave reviews for the haunted houses, in this case, the escape room, and said nothing was changed but one or two puzzles. Well, man, we worked on it for um, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Eight months to get it to reopen, and somebody says only one or two things were changed. I mean, that that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Uh, I would say it's the other way around. Uh, when we were retheming that may, and when we were retheming that escape room, including the puzzles, um, because some of the puzzles we were going from a hotel to a mansion, so we just did a light retheme on the actual uh, the escape room itself. But we changed all the puzzles, but two. So it actually has like 20 puzzles. So 18 are brand new, and two um, were were left from before. I think it's two, maybe it's three. It's like two or three, but it's no more than that and it has 20 puzzles. Uh, we added a fourth room to it, so in, in the, previously it only had three rooms, now it has four. So yes, it was drastically uh, changed. And right now we're building an alien escape room. It takes us anywhere between eight months to 12 months to build an escape room. Um, but the, here's the point I'm trying to make, people, is that when people get online and they say, well, nothing was different at Creepy World or nothing was different at the darkness or whatever, there's nothing further from the truth. We take the money that we make um, from our guests, our biggest fans, and we pour it all into the attractions. And we do that because we love what we do, okay? Everybody here loves building new stuff. Um, we like the fact that St. Louis is regarded as one of the First off, St. Louis Escape is probably regarded as one of the 10, 5, 10 best escape rooms in the United States. And the darkness, by some people's measures, the number one haunted house in the United States. And we've had YouTubers come through Creepy World and say, this is my favorite haunted house uh, that I've ever been to. So we really take a lot of pride in it, and we take a lot of pride in changing and upgrading and building new haunts, new sets, new scares. I mean, heck, this year the darkness, like we invested about twenty thousand dollars into a fly rig just so actors could fly overhead of the customers it's so cool uh we're always changing always upgrading and we really feel like this year is going to be our best year ever at creepy world our best year ever at darkness and when it comes to the lamp um oh my goodness did we make a lot of improvements there and i mean a lot so we're really excited about all three and tickets will go on sale in August. You heard it right here. And we're gonna be offering the biggest deal we've ever had on tickets. So if you buy them in August, you can use them any night you want. And uh, they're gonna be discounted. So get ready, St. Louis. It's gonna be scarefast.feartticket.com. And this is why we ask you, will you please subscribe to our YouTube channel? Will you please subscribe to us on Instagram? So as we get these things, uh, these announcements, you'll be able to, to, to see and hear. So anyway, 
thanks for seeing the video and uh, just as a quick wrap up we're adding a monster selfie museum we're adding a new haunted house we're and drastically improving the hayride we have heavily invested into the hayride so those are the three areas where we have focused uh, pretty much the rest of it will be the same as it was last year uh, but the hayride will be different one haunt will be completely different and our midway will be uh, completely different as well because the ghoul band is going to work we're going to have a monster selfie museum and everything is going to be fantastic and we're looking forward to it so until then please subscribe to our channel as we look here at the beautiful creepy world hayride we are out